Happy Holidays and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. In today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to make two really cute lighted globe keepsake boxes that can also be used as night lights or regular home decor. They're really inexpensive and unique gifts that you can give out for Christmas this year. I'll also be showing you how to make this really unique but beautiful Christmas wall decor featuring the very popular red truck and Christmas tree. I would also like to invite you to check out my previous upload if you haven't seen it already. And also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe now. It's free. I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. Now on to the DIY. There will be a complete list of the items that I used in this DIY in the description box below. I have two boxes that I purchased from Dollar Tree, one being plain and brown and the second one being an iridescent box that contains a smaller box. And we also have the Dollar Tree Globes. So I decided to go with the larger box. So what I want to do is put a hole in the top because I'm going to put my stream lights through the top. Let's find the center of the box. So I'm just going to take a pin and just go from one corner to the other one. Try to make it a straight line. Once you find the center, just punch a hole through it. And I'm just using this really tiny screwdriver. Now you can use a larger screwdriver. I don't have a Phillip head on hand right now, but I do have this flat head. And I'm gonna be using it because I wanna put a hole in this top as well. So what I'm gonna do is heat this up and put a hole in the center of this as well. So I'll get to that later on. I'm just gonna use this to make it larger. All right, so to put the hole in the bottom of here, we really don't need this inner piece. We really don't need that piece, so I'm just gonna put that aside. Remove the paper. And there's a circle right in the middle, so that makes it perfect. You don't even have to try and figure out where the center is. Just heat the screwdriver up and press it through there, but I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, my screwdriver is pretty hot, so I'm just gonna hold this and just push it through. Just like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is figure out which lights I want to use. I have these lights that I picked up from Amazon, and I think you get like six to eight in the pack. It's a really great deal. I'll leave a link below to these if you want to pick these up. I picked these up from Walmart. They dance, pulse, and blink to music, so this is a really good choice too. I think I paid like five dollars for these. Now you can also use these if you're lucky enough to find them at Dollar Tree. These are sometimes hard to come by, so you have other alternatives if you can't find them. I'm going to add batteries to these lights to see what they look like. All right, so that took a minute. So what I want to do is take my box and I'm going to feed this through the underside of the box. Just like that. And then what you want to do is just take it and wrap it around your hand and put it inside here. And then spread it out. Now the good thing about this is you can always take this loose. All right. Let's see what it looks like before we glue it together. And then there you are. Getting that cute? Now I'm going to take some hot glue as well. Making sure not to trap the wire. You can add the wire later if you want to. So I'm just going to press this down. And there you have a cute little night light or lamp for your bedroom or wherever you'd like to put it. Remember this from the beginning of the video. I spray painted one silver because I want to add this to the base of it for weight. So I'm going to glue this to the bottom of our box. I've decided to add some bling to the lid 
in the bottom as well. And if you guys are curious about where to pick up some bling like this, you can get it from totallydazzle.com. I'll leave a link below to where you can grab some. Now add two rolls of bling to the base of the box. Now on to the second box. Off camera, I spray painted it silver and then applied the Mod Podge and glitter mixture, glued another spray painted coaster on the bottom and applied some bling. As for the lid, I glued the base of the globe to the lid, spray painted it silver, added some glitter, and I also added some bling. Oh, and I sealed the glitter with hairspray. I really wasn't happy with how that looked, so I decided to add more bling to the box. Now that my box is completely done, I'm going to try out these lights that I purchased from Amazon. And again, I'll leave a link in the description box below to where you can purchase these. I was really happy with the lighting, but I felt like the box needed more decorations. So I decided to add some rhinestones. And I'm also using this brooch that I've already removed the back from. And I picked this up from totallydazzle.com. And again, I'll leave a link to her website in the description box below. I'll be using some E6000 along with some hot glue to hold the pendant in place while it dries. Now I'll glue on the rhinestones using hot glue only. As you can see, I added rhinestones all the way around the lid. And here's my completed box. I'll come back later to let you see what both light globes look like in the dark. Here are the items that we'll be using in this DIY. I'll have a complete listing of the items used in the description box below. Remove both 8x10 frames from their packaging. Here I'm just figuring out which scenes from these bags goes well with the red truck. If you can't find a bag that you like, you could also download an 8x10 image from the internet. I really like the picture on this bag, so this is the one I'll be using. Now I'm going to cut the scenery from the bag. And take your time, don't rush it like I did. Keep in mind while I'm making this video, I'm figuring this out along the way. So now I'm going to use a Mod Podge to glue my picture to the back of the picture frame. Line the two pieces up and then press them together. I'm going to place this underneath this foam board, apply some weight to make sure that it dries out completely flat. Once the picture is dry, trim off the excess paper. Once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. Now take the glass from the picture frame, make sure it's clean. Now take some white glitter and some Mod Podge applied around the edge of the glass to make it look like frost. Once you're done, your glass should look like this. Now remove those metal pegs from inside the frame. Now I'm going to take some blue glitter and glue it to the frame to make it better match the picture. Now I'm going to paint the bottom of the frame white and then apply more white glitter to the bottom to make it appear that snow is on the ground. I repeated those steps on the second frame as well. I'm going to remove the ribbon and the sign from the truck ornament. Now it's time to put everything together, but first I'm going to glue the background into the frame. Next, glue the Christmas tree ornament in place. It's already starting to come together. I added a snowflake tree topper.
Now glue the glass into the other frame, making sure that the glitter is on the outside. Be careful when replacing the glass. As you can see, I cracked the glass at the bottom when I put it back in. Now I'm going to take the Dollar Tree string lights and hot glue them in place inside the frame. I'm starting at the very top because that's where I'm going to glue the battery pack. Add the glue directly to the strings, trying not to get any on the lights. Hold the strings in place until the glue sets up. Continue gluing the lights around until you have something that looks like this. Now it's time to glue the truck in from the opposite side of the Christmas tree. I'm going to use some E6000 along with some hot glue. I forgot to mention that I'm gluing this to the frame with the frosted glitter. When the hot glue sets up on the truck, we can then glue both frames together. I'm going to use a small amount of hot glue to glue the frame together, just in case I need to replace the string lights in the future. When the frames are glued together, you should have something that looks like this. This is what it looks like with the lights turned down. Isn't that cute? I'm so in love with it. I decided to use the Merry Christmas sign as well. I'm going to glue it to the very top. I'll use this to hide the battery pack. But first I'm going to add some white glitter to it as well. I brushed on some Mod Podge, being careful not to get it on the letters, and then sprinkled it with white glitter to make it look like snow. Once the Mod Podge and glitter dried, I sprayed it with some hairspray to keep it in place. And as you see, there's two small holes. I'm going to use some rhinestones to cover those up. Now I'm going to use some E6000 along with some hot glue to glue it in place. After gluing the rhinestones in place, you'll have something that looks like this. Now glue the battery pack on top of the frames behind the sign. Now you can easily turn the lights on and off. I decided to add more bling to the frame. So I'm going to do my Mod Podge and glitter mixture and apply it to the front of the frame. I also decided to add some bling to the outside of the frame as well. I'm going to use hot glue again just in case I need to replace the string lights in the future. It took a total of six rolls to cover the frame and again I'm using the bling wrap from totallydazzled.com. I covered the other sides of the frame with the bling wrap off camera but when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. You can also add some bling wrap to the battery pack, but before doing that, I would suggest using some acrylic paint to paint the battery pack silver. Okay guys, so we're pretty much done. I just added some cardboard across this hook to give it more support, and I'm also gluing this excess wire down to keep it out of sight and neat. Okay guys, that's it. I'm officially done. So now I'm going to bring out all three pieces and let you see what they look like. Okay guys, this concludes my DIYs for today. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe now. Stay tuned as I bring you more Christmas decor and gift ideas. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.